Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today's video is gonna be super awesome because on my desk I have GoPro's brand new flagship action camera. This is the new Hero 7 Black. It's GoPro's newest action camera which was launched a few weeks ago and comes with some amazing features like hyper smooth stabilization which offers gimbal like performance and can also shoot in 4K 60 frames per second. I've been waiting so long to get my hands on it and I finally got it. So in this video I'll unbox it and give my full review on this product. The Hero 7 Black comes in this sort of box packing. It's got a 12 megapixel sensor, can shoot HDR photos, record videos in 4K 60 frames per second, it's 33 feet waterproof and also supports live streaming directly from the camera. So those were some of its highlights. Over here you've got a list of all the accessories in the box and it says it's made for iPhone and iPad. I've got this Hero 7 Black from Creative Peripherals, I wanna thank them for sending me this product for review. These guys offer an extended warranty of 1 year if you buy this product from them, I'll leave links in the description box below. Ok, we've got some more features of this camera. It supports voice control so you can fully control it with voice commands, has a 2 inch touchscreen, 8x slow motion, HDR photos, GPS, hyper smooth image stabilization and direct live streaming. Coming to the pricing details, the price on the box is 37,000 rupees but it costs only around 35 to 36,000 rupees. So that was our overview on the box, now let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut this out of packing. There you go. So this is how the box looks like. Let's open it and check out the product. Alright so the camera comes packed like this, we've got the Hero 7 Black mounted on the top and I guess the accessories are in this white box. Let me just remove the camera from the mount and then I'll show you what all accessories we get in the box. Oh god that was tough. So finally here it is, GoPro Hero 7 Black. Wow. I have to tell the build quality looks top notch from my first impressions. We'll come back to that again, first let's check out the accessories. So at the top we've got some paperwork which includes GoPro's plus subscription details, some GoPro branded stickers and a user manual. Just make sure to read them for all the info on the product. Along with that you get a type C cable for charging and data transfer, a helmet mount and some adhesive stickers and a GoPro branded 1220mAh lithium ion rechargeable battery. So those are all the items we got in the package. Now let's finally check out the product. So this is how the Hero 7 Black looks like. You got the GoPro branding on the front, the action camera comes in the skeletal frame out of the box, the build quality looks very nice, the frame is made of high quality plastic and has the nice matte black finishing. In terms of the looks, the Hero 7 Black looks very similar to the Hero 6. The only difference is the new model comes in black color and has a redesigned microphone membrane. Let me take the camera out and show you how it looks like. So here is the GoPro's Hero 7 Black. Holy smokes this thing looks beautiful. Love this new black color. You've got the GoPro branding on the bottom right and the camera lens is placed right above that. Just like the Hero 6, the Hero 7 has two displays, a status display on the front and a touch screen at the back. There's also a tiny status LED indicator at the corner. The Hero 7's body is well built, it's rugged and also 33 feet waterproof on its own. You don't need any extra case for that. On the right side you've got a microphone and a power button below that. Going to the top you've got a record button and one more microphone. On the left it says black 7 and there's a flap over here which includes a type C port and a micro HDMI port. And on the bottom side you've got a battery compartment, a speaker and an LED status indicator. This is how the back side looks like, it's got a 2 inch touch screen at the back. So that was our overview on the complete design and build quality. Now let me open the battery compartment and show you. So this is how the inside looks like. You get one 1220mAh battery in the box which you need to insert here and there's also a micro SD card slot in this compartment. So that's it guys, now what I'll do is I'll just insert the battery, power it on and show you how the interface looks like. To power it on all you need to do is just press this power button once and the camera will turn on automatically. So this is how the front LCD status screen looks like. This screen shows you quite useful info like the current mode of the camera, how much storage is left and also battery life. The screen is sharp, the text is easily readable and is also visible in outdoors. And this is its main display, it's got a 2 inch touch screen at the back. The display quality is very good, it's sharp, the colors look rich and vibrant and the viewing angles are also nice. The touch response was also good, I faced no issues so far. At the top it shows you the storage info, camera mode and the battery level. It also supports touch zoom function. This is camera mode toggle, time limit and from here you can change all the camera settings. 
Swiping down on the home screen brings the quick settings panel which shows you date and time, GPS info, voice commands on off, it's got 16 voice commands on it, so you can fully control this camera using your voice. This is camera sound toggle, quick capture and auto lock screen. So those were all the quick shortcuts. By swiping up on the home screen you can access the gallery, where you can check out your recent photos and videos. By swiping left or right on the home screen you can easily change the camera mode. It's got 3 modes, time lapse, video and photo. Now let me show you all the available different camera settings. I have to say the menu on it is nice and very user friendly. So in this section you can choose different resolutions and frame rates and it even shows you in which mode hyper smooth stabilization is available. On the Hero 7 Black you can shoot from 720p to all the way up to 4K and supports different frame rates for different resolutions. In 4K you can shoot 24, 30 and even 60 frames per second. Hyper smooth is available in all these frame rates for 4K. Now coming to 2.7K resolution, we've got 24, 30, 60 and even 120 frames per second. And in 1080p, you can shoot even in 240 frames per second super slow motion mode. That is really awesome. Coming to the field of view settings, you've got different options depending on the mode selected. You've got linear, wide and super view options. It also has auto low light, image stabilization on off. When set to auto, it will automatically switch between hyper smooth and standard depending on the mode. The Hero 7 also has ProTune which when enabled offers manual control over camera settings like color, ISO, exposure and more. As I've enabled ProTune, we've got some more settings like shutter control, exposure, white balance, ISO range and sharpness. It also has picture profiles where you can choose between GoPro color profile and flat color profile. I'll shoot samples in both these modes and show you what the difference is. Along with all those, you even have options to adjust the audio processing. You can switch on raw audio if you want GoPro to do some processing for you. Those were all the available video settings on this camera. So that's it guys, that was our in detail look at the menu and the interface. Now let me show you some photo and video samples that are shot on the Hero 7 Black. The GoPro's Hero 7 Black has top of the line specs. It's got a 12 megapixel sensor and can shoot videos in 4K up to 60 frames per second. This is a video sample shot in 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. The video quality was excellent in this mode. I mean just look at it guys, it's damn good, very hard to believe this was shot on an action camera. The picture quality is nice, the detail and the sharpness was on point, the colors looked rich and vibrant and the white balance was also perfect. The dynamic range was also impressive for an action camera, there was good amount of detail in both the highlight and shadow areas. All these video clips were shot in 4K60 with hyper smooth image stabilization and the exposure was set to auto. One more great feature I liked about the Hero 7 is, you can even lock the exposure on it. You just need to touch the screen on any desired area for some time and it'll automatically lock the exposure. It's a super useful feature which I've not seen on any other action camera till now. The overall video quality was very good in 4K60. The bitrate in this mode was around 80 Mbps. Just check out these samples. Now one more biggest feature on the Hero 7 Black is Hyper Smooth Stabilization. Hyper Smooth is like the next level of EIS. When Hyper Smooth is turned on, the camera delivers gimbal-like stabilization to produce smoothest looking videos. And to see if the camera really works as the company says, we'll be putting it to an intense test. So what I'll do is, first I'll turn the image stabilization off, casually walk in the park and show you how the video looks like. As you can see, there's a lot of shake in the video and it doesn't look that good. Now in the next clip, I'll turn Hyper Smooth on and show you how it looks like. Oh my god, are you guys seeing the difference? This video is so smooth that it feels like the camera was on a gimbal. But no, in fact I shot this entire clip with my bare hands. Wow, I'm really impressed here. Okay, let's put the camera to some more intense testing. This time I'll be running instead of walking. In this particular clip, Hyper Smooth was turned off and this is how the footage looks like. Now let's do the same test with Hyper Smooth on. Holy smokes, this is amazing! I was literally running with the camera and there was very minimum shake in the video. I was really surprised GoPro has done a great job on the Hero 7 Black. I have to say Hyper Smooth offers gimbal like stabilization on this camera. This video sample was shot in 2.7K at 60fps. The video quality was good but not as good as in 4K. The bit rate in this mode was around 60Mbps. This particular clip was shot in 1080p at 30fps and the bitrate in 1080p was around 45mbps. Out of all the resolutions, the camera was giving the best quality in 4K60. 
I've showed you earlier that the Hero 7 Black can shoot in two different color profiles, right? GoPro color and flat profile. GoPro color profile is a default one set on the camera, but if you want to shoot in a flat picture profile and color grade it later, yes, you can do that also. In this clip, I'll show you the difference between GoPro color profile, ungraded flat color profile, and graded flat color profile. Just check out this clip. Hey what's up guys, I hope you are enjoying the video. Now it's time to test the microphone on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. We are shooting this video in 4K at 60 frames per second. Hello check 1, 2, 3 microphone test on the Hero 7 Black. The weather is quite nice today, it feels sunny. So what do you think about the microphone quality guys? Do let me know in the comment section down below. Talking about the low light performance, here's a sample shot in indoor lighting conditions at 4K 30fps. The video quality was decent. Not as good as in bright outdoor lighting conditions, but still better than a lot of other action cams I've seen till now. And here are a few photo samples shot on this camera. The Hero 7 shoots photos in 12 megapixel resolution and also supports HDR. All these photo samples were shot with the HDR mode turned on. The photo quality was very nice, there was good amount of sharpness, the detail was nice in the pictures, the colors look rich and vibrant and I was quite satisfied with them. Hero 7 Black can also shoot photos in RAW format, so you can also tweak them later in post-processing. The field of view is also adjustable, you can shoot in either wide or linear mode, let me show you the difference. This sample was shot in wide and this one was shot in linear. The GoPro Hero 7 Black can also be controlled with your voice commands guys, that is really awesome. You can fully control this action camera just by using your voice. Let me just give you a demo on that. GoPro take a photo. There you go. It can also record video, uh, let me show you that. GoPro take a video. GoPro record video. That's it, very simple right? This thing is super useful. GoPro stop recording. You can even turn off the camera using your voice commands. Let me show you. GoPro turn off. Just like that. Talking about the battery life, it has a 1220mAh lithium ion removable battery and on an average I was getting around 40 to 50 minutes of battery life while shooting in 4K60. And in 1080p, I was getting around 1.5 hour of battery life on a full charge. And charging the camera from 0 to 100 took about 1 hour. So that was my review on GoPro's new flagship Hero 7 Black 4K action camera. This camera offers some amazing features like hyper smooth stabilization, 4K 60 video, HDR photos in both normal and vertical mode, direct live streaming to social media, voice commands, and it's also rugged and 33 feet waterproof. The only thing I felt is the price is a bit high and the low light performance could have been better. Rest everything else was great. It costs around 35 to 36,000 rupees. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you all liked it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.